Hello guys, Augusto here and today I have a really interesting news. The guys of Evermotion are joining forces with the guys of Polygonic, the creators of the Botanic Add-on, to release the first Vegetation Pack Volume 1. <laughs> this is the type of thing that really surprised me because this is not a simple asset pack. This is a statement, actually. So, if you don't know, Evermotion is one of the most traditional websites to sell assets for architectural visualization. I think they are selling assets and things for ArcVis since the beginning of times in the ArcVis professional, the digital ArcVis professional itself. So, they usually sell assets for 3ds Max, which can be rendered with V-Ray or Corona rendering, but now they are selling stuff on Blender Market, joining forces with a company that is exclusive to Blender. This is a end statement. This is a message for the market, telling to the market that Blender as a 3D tool that now is established as a tool for architectural visualization. The price compared to the things they are selling on their websites is really cheap actually, because in their websites they sell stuff extremely expensive compared to the 50 bucks they are selling it on Blender Market, but let me show how this works, how to install, and if this works with every single feature that you can find on Botanix. So let me show you. So here I have the add-on installed on my computer, and to install it, it's a bit trickier, but let me show how you do that. First thing first, you need to have the Botanix add-on, the free version or the paid version installed on your computer. The base version needs to be there. The second thing is, you need to click the stuff in order. So, what I mean about that? I mean, you need to click first in the Botanic add-on, the free or the paid version, no matter what. And then, you need to click on the new add-on, which you can you can install as a simple add-on by clicking install and clicking here and clicking install in copy on your computer without unzip and things like that. So, clicking here, you will see that automatically Botanic will find that now you have an extra asset pack and by going to spawn assets you can see that the assets from Evermotion will have a different background and a logo. So let's select a different type of tree just to compare. So I will select this apple tree from Botanic, move around, move it here and then I will select this tree here from Evermotion. The first thing you will see is the quality. If we come here to the wireframe, you can see that the Botanic assets are extremely light. So you can see that in the wireframe, there are a lot, and I mean a lot of geometry to work with. All this geometry which has a displacement connected to that. And as soon as we come to the handred view, you will see how different those assets will look. So a normal asset looks like this, looks good, looks good enough for most cases, so it's fine. But this one here is really good for close-up shots because there are a lot of information to work with. So this is the high quality stuff we are usually looking for when we work with architectural visualization stuff. Also, those things will work perfectly with the Botanic add-on stuff. So for example, if I select this tree, and click here on the animation preset. All I need to do is to click here on convert to editable. It will make this tree editable. And then I can just select it and click here in add animation. Then I can select the presets. In my case, I will select the loop, click OK. And if I click play here, you can see the tree will start to move. But the thing is, it also works for the ever motion assets. All you need to do is to select the tree as usual, click here to convert to editable and click here to add animation and then you can add it on your tree. But as this asset is bigger than the other assets on the Botanic library, you can see that by clicking play, your viewport won't be really able to play it in real time. But you can see that, yeah, it's moving. So as soon as you handle it, you will be able to see the entire animation with an extremely high quality asset. So, if you want to check out this add-on, just click in the link in the description below and you can click in the video that's appeared on your screen right now to know a little bit more about how to use Blender for architectural visualization and stuff like that, okay? See you there!